Good evening. It's the 17th of March. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Um, it's been a very long, busy Thursday. Uh, I have, on Thursdays for Vic, I have my Mori tutorial in the morning at 11, and then right after that I have the Mori lecture, which on Thursdays is two hours long. Then I have about half an hour after that, which barely gives me time to eat lunch, I have my Eski lecture for science, um, which today was very interesting because the lecturer was having a lot of technical difficulties, and so we had to call in the tech guy who comes in about every time we have a lecture in that classroom because that lecture theater is notorious for for um, uh, technical difficulties. So we had about 25 minutes of lecture, and then I had my uh, science lab that goes along with that class. And today we identified rocks. It was pretty exciting. I, I got to see what schist looks like. It was actually very pretty. I like something made out of schist. I like schist. It's very pretty. So it's been about two weeks since my last video journal. Um, in those two weeks, Uncle Wilbert and Joe have taken me to see two very interesting festival things. The first was a performance called La Verita, and it was mostly based around a painting by Salvador Dali, which I don't like, but then I don't really like Salvador Dali at all. Um, it was a lot of, there was a lot of acrobatics and some ballet, and it was very funny, and occasionally you'd be watching this amazing feat of acrobatics and strength and grace and beauty, and all of a sudden there's this guy in a rhinoceros hat going across the back. And he'd stop and look, and, and then again another guy with the rhinoceros <laughs> Uh, mass thing would come up from the other side, and they'd chat for a minute, and then there was a couple few jokes with uh, a door, and and uh, it was really amazing watching them. They had this one stunt where they did sticks. They had sticks about as tall as well, a person, and they were twirling them around and throwing them up in the air, and then they started throwing them at each other, and they could take two sticks and throw them in such a way that one stick went to one person and the other stick went to the other person. I only think they dropped a couple and it was really cool. But my other favorite part of that was they got out some balls and they started juggling and then they had this platform in the, in the middle of them. They had four guys and they were just bouncing these rubber balls at each other and they were about, I don't know, 15, 20, 25 of these little rubber balls bouncing around on this mat, and none of them hit anything, and I only saw them drop one, and it was really freaking cool. Plus, I got another of those trumpet ice creams, which are really cool. They're like drumsticks, only they got chocolate goo down the middle of them. I swear, they have the same caterers for all the festival thing, because the three um, festival events that we've gone to have all had the same ice creams, which was really cool. I had trumpet, and they had Uncle Bert and Joe had some of this locally produced ice cream caramel thing. It was, I'm sure it would be good, but I really liked those trumpets, so I had those instead. The second thing we went to see was a performer called Sufjan Stevens, who's an American performer. He's, um, I'm really not sure what his genre is. It's kind of rockish, kind of-ish. I don't know. It kind of reminds me of John Z from the How to Train Your Dragon soundtracks, but, and they had, and they, they had, their, one of their, op blah, blah. The woman who opened for them was Dawn something or other, I don't remember her last name, and she reminded me of Adele McAllister, one of my favorite Lord of the Rings YouTube performers. Um, he was really loud, but I managed to get a lot of crocheting done after that concert, which was much to Uncle Wilbert's amusement. He thought it very amusing that I was crocheting during the entire concert. I mean, I really enjoyed the concert, but... I'm not just going to sit there and watch people do music for two or three hours. They went way over time. It was The second half of their performance was much better um, than at the first, because the first was really techy and really loud, and the second half was much more acoustic and simple, and they didn't have the big synthesizers out and stuff. They were just doing guitars, and it was much nicer, I think. I enjoyed the second half a lot more than the first, and so did Uncle Albert and Joe. Of course, Joe would have been happy <laughs> if they had ended about an hour sooner. I wouldn't have minded either, but I really did enjoy going to those performances. They were a lot of fun. 
This weekend, leaving tomorrow morning on Friday, we are going to WOMAD, which is up in New Plymouth. It's a big festival of apparently folky art um, bands and such. We've listened to a few, and they're really cool, the ones we decide we like. Uh, Joe, Uncle Wilbur, and I, of course. And so we're going to drive up. It's about, I think it's about five or six hours drive up there, which will be pretty okay. I'll, Uncle Wilbur and I are apparently going to take turns driving. Joe has to work, so she's going to fly up, and we're going to pick her up at the airport. Apparently, there's going to be a really nice haka up there to start to uh, kick it off with, which will be really cool to see. And I'm really looking forward to seeing all of the musicians and all of the groups. And there's going to be food, which according to Jan, who I believe is the one who lent the furniture, that's all I know her by. It's like, oh, she's the furniture lady. Okay. Um, apparently... She, Uncle Wilbur asked her what food they're kind, of, what kind of foods there would be, and he and she said, "Oh, it's just like you'll expect," which for me means fried food and elephant ears. But I'm not sure if that's what I'm actually going to get, which would be kind of cool if it was. But I haven't had an elephant ear in ages. But um, I'm kind of hoping for something a little not fried. But then, oh well, it'll be fun either way. And uh, my friend Max is going to be there. Apparently, I'll have to see if, I'll have to seek him out to have his number. I can text him. Woo! But. Uh, I'm really looking forward to the all the music there, and who knows, maybe I'll find some new artists and have to buy some new CDs. Uncle Wilberts has enrolled me in this defensive driving course. It's um, designed for people who are working on getting their full license. Apparently in New Zealand you can get a restricted license and then you can drive yourself unlimited for, I, I think there's probably a curfew like there is for us, but um, if you want to drive somebody else, you have to have a fully licensed person in the car. And you have that restricted license for a year and a half, which is really interesting. But if you take this defensive driving course, you get six months knocked off of that. So you only have to have your restricted license for a year. And so there's a lot of people in there who are working to get their full license. And they are there to take the six months off, which is pretty smart, I guess, like driver's ed, with only 50 hours of learner's permit time instead of 100. Not that I wrote any of my hours down, and not that they cared, but um, it's really interesting, for talking about safety and all sorts of other things. Uh, nothing I really don't already know, other than the fact that I apparently, according to the survey, am an anxious and overconfident courteous driver so overconfident was first then uh, courteous and then anxious I'm an anxious over I'm an overconfident anxious driver which is very interesting very odd but I have two more sessions of that and then they have a, a live driving session where you actually go out with I'm assuming the guy but you go out and do a driving session with him which is really interesting because I'm not I'm I don't know if I'm the only one with a full license or not but I'm mostly just taking this get me used to the rules of New Zealand road, which are slightly different from the ones in America. So it'll be interesting, that's for sure. I really hope I don't turn the wipe windshield wipers on for the uh, practice driving thing like I do when I'm driving around normally, which I am doing quite a bit more and I'm actually quite good at it now. I mean, I'm not going to say I'm perfect, but I'm really getting much more comfortable on driving on the wrong side of the road, which is very strange. I didn't think it would be that easy, but it really is.